Let me hurry up and get ready to go live, man. Well, what I'm going to talk about today. My energy from my popcorn. Ain't nothing like homemade sweet tea. Let me get some people in here. I've been watching you for so very long. Trying to build my nerves up to be so strong. I really want to meet you, but I'm kind of scared. Because Mo is in the building with so much as class, class, class. I really, <laughs> I didn't got started already. <laughs> Yo, don't y'all remember when Jodeci was popping and we was in the club and oh my God, you knew you was going home with something or you was going to get something that's when the music was the music <laughs> tony piper what's up let me see who i got in here man who i got in here i gotta see the people i got in here okay god is k what's up with you mama you get your book yet they said you was gonna get it on tuesday damian park i gotta call these people out that's members unique Monique Irving. Hey, Miss Irving. There go Danny D. Come talk to me. I really want to meet you. Can I talk to you? Ooh, I was on tour with them. Yo, that shit was crazy. And the stories, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, but listen, I want to talk to y'all on a serious note because it's a lot of things that's going out here in our community that we don't know about but then i'm gonna get into some of this industry shit. you know what i'm saying we can't address everything that we want to address on these platforms because if you have a platform you won't have a platform if you talk about how Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and all these designers stole these African prints and made multi and billions, I mean, billions and millions of dollars off of their prints, off of the design these African tribes made. I'm not going to talk about it because, you know, I have fun get a little revenue on my channel so i'm not gonna say nothing about louis vuitton gucci or none of those people who do the things that they do so they could come after me you ain't gonna hear it on the gene deal show about how they stole all his prints like i like this guy right here i gotta get his name i'm sorry he made this shirt he made this jacket for me i like this print this joint is crazy I'm gonna do something with it. What I don't like about it is, I love this about it. He put a lot of African, and well, we call it African, a black images on here. There were people from the past that I don't know all late history. So he should have put like the names in here on the prints so people would know this joint is this joint is love the material is crazy i think the shit is hot and i'm gonna give you more information on it he said to tell me yo gene your package is over there in your in your uh PO box. I was like, yo, 
Shay Powell, what's good? So I'm not going to talk about what they do. I'm not going to talk about Beyonce at the Grammys because y'all see her all Louis Vuitton down. Why? Don't her mother got her own clothing business? Why all of a sudden she want to be at the Grammys Louis Vuitton down? I'm not going to talk about that. Nah, we ain't going to, we ain't going to get into it. Is that because, uh, with her new hair care products and her line? And if we speak about stuff like that, they look at us funny and you just went to Jodeci con concert, Danny. All right. All right. Cool. Sharice, okay with your young ass on Sharice talking about I was in junior high. And and Sharice. I was in junior high. Get your young ass on off the channel. <laughs> James Davis, what's up with you, boy boy? No, I'm just playing Sharice. You don't know her. So now, if you go back and look and see all those designs, you'll see they from Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Versace, they came from African prints. Prints that natives had and they worship and they have significant meanings to them. They took them. Now, if they try to market anything with that on there, they'll get sued. How the fuck is that? And they made it. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. I want to talk about. And I, I, the reason I'm coming at y'all like this, because, you know, Somebody on my channel, I read in the comments, we talk about fingernails and we talking about fingernails and all the shit that's happening in the world. Bruh, you have to use, you have to use your ability to get people attention on certain things, to bring certain things, other things to mind to them. Like, I know I'm not, I'm a decent singer. I'm not a good singer. I'm all right. I've been in the choir, been in the church choir, been in the school choir and things like that. But I can't make no motherfucking record. But it gets people attention because they remember some of the songs that I talk about or sing about. As well as this. Everybody want to talk about how The people over there in Israel has destroyed Gaza. But nobody going to sit up and say that on their channel. I wouldn't say it on my channel. I'm not going to talk about watch and see how they make a, 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 a whole canal that goes from the Red Sea to Israel after they destroyed Gaza. I'm not going to talk about stuff like that because I'm not going to get my channel struck, struck, uh, uh, taken down because you want to hear me say that. Who am I? I'm just Gene Deal, the Gene Deal show. Why would I do that to myself? How that if a terrorist group attacks some people, why not just kill or go after the terrorist group? But a whole society, a whole race of people have to be destroyed. They living in everything. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to see how, it, it, tell y'all how now you see in modern day how supremacy works for them people. No, I'm not doing that. As soon as I get, that's what Gene get. He got, that's why he got taken, he, they took his show. I know a lot of shit that's going on. I know a lot of shit about the industry. I have people and friends and I've sat there and listened. Dry, you know what I'm saying? Ear hustling, if you want to call it. Damn. 
They don't know what to do with Rihanna. When I said that before, people were like, Gene don't know what the hell he's talking about. Then they hired Tracy Waples. Tracy. Make, make Rihanna into a superstar. She see what she did to Method Man. She was the real deal. I think it was L.A. Reed. L.A. Reed wanted to hire her for about three to four hundred thousand dollars thousand dollars a year i think she was asking around about three or four something like that i was like shit you get that bitch cheaper than that i was like what tracy's supposed to be your girl tracy's supposed to be your people but he said that shit to, i think it was la reed uh uh one of the motherfucking atlanta super mega producers or whatever they call them ceos no, you can get that bitch cheaper than that, man. You gonna give her that much money? I was like, wow, niggas ain't shit. <laughs> That's for you, motherfucker, to say that uh, I be, you know, I'm infatuated with Diddy. That's for you know who that's for. The one I talked about, your mama? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm petty, nigga. Until you run into me. I'm real petty. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, is it? Right. I could talk about how this woman in California stabbed her man 108 times. And they gave her two years probation saying that she was under a cannabis-induced psychosis. That she was smoking some of that good shit that caused her to stab the dog, the man, and everybody, even herself. Now we know, had that been any black chick, any Hispanic chick, any person of color, Her ass would be in jail for the rest of her life. Systematic racism in our court system. We, I could talk about that, but y'all don't want to hear that. I could talk about how in Summerville, Florida, this little kid, this kid, this young man, Never had a criminal record, worked in the after school program, missed jury duty. The judge held him in contempt, sent him to jail. Well, he could have got killed in jail. Sent him to jail and gave him one year probation. Y'all not going to sit back and rewind that and talk about that type of shit? We're not going to talk about crime of humanity on the Gene Deal show. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to get into Benjamin... Now who, net who, whoever he is, systematically uh, just going to, it's crime against humanity. I'm not talking about that stuff, man. If, if, if he gets away with it, which he is, which he had already said he was going to do, and it's getting done, what my little show going to hurt? So I'm not going to talk about that. Who that? 
You you just put it right there. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I gotta, I gotta get back into this. All that shit was, you know, shout out to my man Lamont and his love for Jay-Z. He didn't, he the only one didn't see Jay-Z was talking a bunch of bullshit. And how he gonna tell the people, black people, they need the Grammys. And he didn't get that out of that. Why would he support? And, you know, I didn't support him. I didn't support him. But I was doing the wrong thing. Why would he do that? Part of my story today about industry plants. Hey, OG Patrice. Pretty gangster. What's up with you, mama? So now. A lot of those things you're not going to hear on my show. I'm not even going to mention them out of my mouth. I'm not going to talk about it. And I'm sorry. I'm not going to talk about how they try to fool us by bringing up a lot of shit that keep us away from crimes against humanity. To keep us away from systematic racism. What things are happening to other people and the same crimes are committed by our people And it's a different slap on the wrist. Sorry. Now, let me show you or give you my opinion how you know that the industry plants certain shit out there to keep us distracted. Meg the Stallion, which I don't know, you know, a stallion is a male horse, but she's Meg the Stallion. I don't listen to their music like that. I did like that tape that her and Cardi did, and they had that, that sex stuff on it. Most of the guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, her ex, Party Hardy, Hardy Party, whatever his name, said, Meg, Meg lied on her mama, on her dead mama, before Nicki Minaj said it. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, is Megan the Stallion? Okay. <laughs> L LJC. Now they trying to crucify Nicki Minaj in the media and throwing that shit up like it's something that wasn't already said by somebody who knew her personally and close. This shit is an industry plant.
I fucks with Cat Williams. Love is comedy. Love is courage. Love how he present himself to the people. Love how he kept his composure from telling Shannon Sharp, you big old homo ass nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop acting like that, like you some old bitch ass nigga. I love how he did that. Kept his composure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, pretty gangster. See, pretty gangster keep up all this, this new shit. <laughs> pretty gangster keep up with all this new shit. Jose G.I. Jackson, salute. He said he finally caught me live. <laughs> What's Audrey saying? Those people only allow you to say so much before they come and turn the tables on you. Exactly. Diddy gave a speech a year ago. Look at what happened to him. They only tolerate you for so long. Right. But uh, uh, Audrey, you don't bite the hand to feed you either. I got a call from uh, Doggy Diamond and Doggy Diamond was saying he was doing a show. He was trying to express to people how I was different from a lot of the bodyguards that was around. Now, it was other bodyguards that y'all don't know of that never came forward. They were state correction officers. They were city correction officers. They were state correction. We all, a lot of us was asked to leave our jobs to come work for bad boy. You know, I guess they, they were because I was asked to. I said, man, you about to be out your motherfucking rabbit ass mind. I'm going to give up making where I can make close to 100000 or better a year. If I want the overtime, I get to carry my gun for the rest of my life. I get the dental plan for the rest of my life. I get a health insurance for the rest of my life. To come work for Freaky Dicky? <laughs> No, we're not doing that. I don't think they put their son out there like that because I think that he, I heard, don't know for sure, that, uh, and I think that they should do that because there's nothing wrong with that. If he may have a slight autism or whatever the shit may be, I don't I don't know. You know, he was hitting he was hitting Beyonce with them worms. So um we don't know the real thing, but I heard that he might be. But then that's when you show the world your realness. You don't hide kids like that. They still human, they still have a blessed heart. And you love them out in public and behind behind closed doors and in public. You love them all the same. So now, industry plants. When Jay-Z got on that stage, and said all that shit like that. And that was for the industry. That was to build up attention. To keep our minds off what's really going on. 
off, 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 out of the systematic racism that America is now putting down on the people. The fact that when I go try to buy an apple tree, they're telling me I can't hold on now, sorry. Hey Ma Drake. Ma, Ma, I'm doing a show right now. Can I call you back? Yeah. All right, how you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought you called me this morning. I did call you this morning. Well, <laughs> you didn't know what time it was. Ma, it was eight o'clock my time. I'm sorry. All right. I was, I was getting my beauty rest. All right. Well, you don't need much, woman. What? You don't need much. Okay. Well, yeah. I need all I can get, baby. All right. Okay. Call uh, me later. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Ma. Her and her husband raised me. It's Mama Drake. Papa Drake wife. Straight from Philly. They're from Philly. So now, let me show you how this industry plant is about to go together. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Twelve Taylor Swift was made America's child by what Kanye West was put up to do. Don't think Kanye West, cause he crazy or insane or deranged, go get up in the middle of MTV and the VH Awards and do some shit like that. All that shit was a plan. Now, Taylor Swift is America's golden child. Taylor Swift, Tony Braxton, what's somebody saying? Trying? Tony Braxton. I met her one time before at Eddie's Elf House. But I, I hear what you said about Tony Brown. I wasn't looking at that. Now, Taylor Swift is America's golden child. Holly Phillips said Taylor Swift is the new great white hope. <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Check it out. Travis Kelsey paraded around the NFL with this black chick. I thought the rule was once you go black, you never go back. Am I wrong? Yeah, the Mary Silas was too cuckoo for cocoa puffs. She couldn't do it. They was talking about the soul pole. Oh, they was talking about the soul pole. They don't account for. Yo, Ed Miller, it don't count for black women. Huh. The black and the berry, the sweet of the juice. Nigga, I don't know what you said. You can't never turn it loose. Oh, that's going to be on my new rap album.
So now, they planted Kanye West to do that. Hurt this little white girl in the in front of millions. She do these songs, which is I can't tell you not one tell. If somebody come right here, I swear, to living God, and they tell me, name a suck Taylor Swift song or hum a tune from Taylor Swift, I couldn't tell you jack shit. And I don't, I, I guess I don't suppose to. But shit, I could tell you a Beyonce song. And and then I could tell you some other white women songs. I don't know. So now, Kanye West do that, they build it up, they build it up like this. They get this white dude that got a little flavor with him. Used to date black chicks. Used to, he hang out with his black brother. You know he fucks with the Beastie Boys. You got to fight for the right. To party! Josh said the same thing. So now, Watch and see how she comes so much of a part of this NFL shit. Never happened before. I'll post that right there. The word of the last 200 years is deception. They plan all this shit 20, 25 years before us, y'all. We are now 25, 30 years behind in what they got planned and what they perceive or what they want to do to us. I may not be here to see it. But I am so happy. I am so glad that we still got strong black people out here that see, that understand. That know what we have to do. And to changing back what they got planned. Critical race theory will be taught. It is a must. Yeah, he's going to propose to her on the 50 yard line at the game after they win. And if if and if Swift and Kelsey, if it, if if the Kansas City Chiefs don't win, and he don't propose to her on the 50 yard line, Will Smith gonna come out and he's gonna come out the closet and propose to Dwayne. (laughs) 
what did G just say? Why some motherfucker repost that? It's just a joke. I'm just fucking around. Will, Will's cool. I met Will a couple of times. Will is a good dude. Will, I'm just fucking with you. That nigga got that Philly in him. He might come see me. Oh, D nice. Tina Marie was the world. Tina Marie had a, a crazy voice. Mm -mm -mm. Tina, Tina Marie could get them women out they pants. I mean, Tina Marie could get those women into the mood. Hey, Dawn Wilson. Appreciate you for that super chat, Dawn. Put this banner up. I want to let you know I got everybody books out yesterday. And uh, how many I got left over here? They going slow this month. What was this? They cut back on niggas EBT cards or something? Because these books is going slow this month. Out of 50, I got 30 left. Look at the comments. You can cash out Big Gene 52 or PayPal Big Gene 52 for one of these right here. Don't wait on the second book because this, this stops at chapter 18. The second book starts at chapter 19. It's going to be a trilogy. And ain't no sophomore jinx over here. Oh, Dick's daughter's in? Hmm. Deacon daughter's been busy. She's working on her master's. Then she's going for her PhD degree. Y'all better catch up with that and then get you a good woman. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Danny, don't say I'm crazy. Chevron TV. Janine. 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 Hey, Janine. Excuse me. Sorry about this. Sorry about that. Oh, Dwayne got a new girlfriend? Ooh, didn't know that. Oh, we got engaged? What's his name? Okay. I didn't, 
I, I swear, yeah, Danny, I didn't get that vibe from Will when we was out to uh, uh, brunch. And he came out to car when uh, I told Puff I'd be outside waiting because Puff, Will was trying to get me to sit down at the dinner table with them. I mean, at the uh, at the lunch table when we was at, at I think it's George's in California. In California, he, Will was trying to get me to sit down, and I wouldn't. Um, and I told Puff I'd be right outside waiting, you know, because they were safe inside the restaurant unless somebody came through the back door, or through the kitchen area, or something like that. And I think that was all probably not, not even happening. So. Uh, I went outside. Will came outside. Was like, yo, and we was talking like men. Like he was telling me about his truck. I told him I had the same truck. This was in '95. He had the four door Tahoe. I had the two door Tahoe. He had the North American uh, satellite system in his shit. I just had a red regular radio. <laughs> but we talked about the trucks and everything. How he had wedges, and you know, he had um, different things that make it go a uh, supercharger, all that shit. I didn't get no hey vibe from him, but that was in '95. Hold on, y'all. I can't do a show. Bells ringing and all that shit. Sorry about that, y'all. I know. Come on, folks. Come on, come on, for praising taxes and. All that other stuff like that. Michael Giles just bought a book. Mike, I appreciate you. Mike, make sure you go to, if you didn't leave the uh, information on, um, Mike, if you didn't leave your information on, um, oh, there you go. I see your street right now and everything. Thank you, Mr. Gal. I'll get that book out for you tomorrow. Oh, you throwing up the sign? <laughs> Let me find out, Mike. Dog team. <laughs> Michael Giles. He got a picture of himself throwing up the side of the hook. <laughs> Appreciate you, team. Ruru. Team, I got this pendant I just got made, but that's another story. Mm. 
let me get back to the story. So now, with the Cat Williams thing, Cat Williams and that whole shit on the internet and everything, we see all that shit playing out. It was definitely some shit that Cat wasn't supposed to say, not say. He said a whole lot of shit that stirred up a whole industry on some shit that a comedian, he ain't a politician. He not in, he, 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 he not a preacher. He was a comedian. He stirred up a whole lot of shit that kept our attention from weeks. Oh, he did. He, he, he dated an Asian chick, too. He left a black chick and a white chick. Uh, uh, he left a black chick and a and a black chick and an Asian chick. A skinny ass Taylor Swift. I mean, Swifty's going to get me. <laughs> so she was dead. Women are women. I love them all, as long as they ain't crazy. But then sometimes the crazy is the ones who got it. <laughs> the crazy ones are the ones who have you going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Callie Dre says facts. <laughs> no, you didn't, Deacon Dog. You tell me to shut up. For real? Let me block her ass. Oh, that's a moderator. <laughs> Look at Ed. Ed know what I'm talking about. When they're a little crazy, Ed. Mm-hmm. I really don't want to know, man. Uh -uh. I don't want no crazy coochie. I mean, cat. I mean, no crazy women. Oh, Dwayne is uh, Louisiana arrested. Dwayne is encouraged American. Okay, so Will Smith won. Will Smith to be the other one. I mean, be Will Smith to be the other one. Maybe the white chick can can understand all the other stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So now, this is how you recognize when the industry is planting stuff into the air to gain our attention, to get us off what's really going on in society today. When you see things that are so fucking abstract, abnormal, and you know that really nobody shouldn't know about that shit, they planting it. 
when somebody does something, look, check it out. If y'all don't think that Mike Jones shit was industry, I mean, Killer Mike shit, you don't think that was in some industry shit? Look how that shit happened earlier that day. They waited until the three awards and all that other shit to arrest him. That's some industry bullshit. Look what baby girl said. Look at it. Look, look, look at one of them Swifties. You check this shit out. Taylor Swift has raw blood of princes because she is a direct descendant from Robert II of Scotland, who ruled as the King of Scotland, Scots, during the 1300s. Let me just tell you something that you may not know. If she is a raw descendant of the King of Scotland in 1300, that means she got some black in her. Now, if you want me to break it down to you, the Druids ran Scotland and they were a black race. The Pope sent the Knights of Templars and armies over there to run them out. Gene, how you know that stuff? <laughs> hey, Chevron TV. Black people was everywhere. Can you tell me why black people was everywhere? Do anybody know why? Do anybody know why black people was everywhere? And I'm a... I'm going to give this book up. Gene Deal, My World, a bodyguard and a hip-hop star. Do anybody know? Somebody said until 4,000 years, we were all black. I'm not going to get off the subject, man. The first one texted to me, you know, that 201 number, 969-6168. I'm just picking up this book right now. Listen, check this out, man. I got people still getting upset with me because they don't realize they can click their goddamn button off and go to somebody else's channel. You understand? Malik Shabazz, what up with you? You understand? But you got to realize, you got to understand how black people got everywhere. You have to understand how, how did black people get all over the world? You know, you have to tell me that. You know what I'm saying? It was, a, it was, it was during a certain reign. It was during a certain reign. And two brothers had something to do with it. 
I'll give you that much. I'm going to say, give that book to somebody special. Who that would be? Oh, that's Mo. Mo said, get a book to somebody special. It happened during a certain uh, 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 time. Somebody said, me, I'm special. Who is me? I'm special. We ain't talk about Jerry kid special like you was on the bus with a helmet on your head. No, we ain't talk about that type of special. Mm -hmm. Jose, what up, boy? Where you been at, man? Renee? <laughs> hey, Renee, hi. What's up with you, mama? <laughs> Or give it to Mo say give it to a special lady. Mo giving me permission to give somebody something. Do you really want me to give it to her, Mo? Oh, the book. Give her the book. All right, okay. George Hill said the right brothers. <laughs> here go the winner right here. He didn't say it, but he gets it. Masa Musa. Him and his brother. They're the only one that ever recorded that they launched over two thousand ships in every direction of the world his brother was an architect an inventor they had enough money had enough education that they launched over two thousand ships to go in every direction of the ocean about 10% of those ships ever made it back to Africa. So the SEA 360, please go to that 201-969 number, leave your name, your address, and I'll get your book out tomorrow. Now I got 29 books ready to be sold. No, 28. Because dog team, what they say? Ah, ah, bad ass shit, dog team. I go, ah, 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 dog team bought a book. <laughs> Yo, listen to me, man. All these people come on this internet and they have different things to tell you and they have different shows. You go to the people that you like, that you could get something from, that could give you a laugh, give you some education, give you some knowledge or what, well, education, knowledge, give you some enjoyment. That's what it should be about. We got enough crazy shit in this world that's happening to us. They don't want us to, yo, listen to me, man. I could not get a real fucking apple tree. I'm trying to buy an apple tree. All I can find is a high bridge apple tree. So when that motherfucker grow out the ground, they got to worry is that my apples won't even have no seeds in it.
Q Rock City, what up, boy? What up, fam? Green one up, genetically modified. They are trying to take all that shit away from us. I, my brother has sent me some about this dude, Papa Doc, was talking about that shit. I got to go back and really look at it because I already know some of the shit about it because every time I go down south, I buy seeds. Manager Marty, thank you. Appreciate you that, Manager Marty. Salute, Big Gene. Just wanted to continue showing my support. It takes seed, soil, and water to grow a plant, but it takes the truth for a plant to wither. Keep speaking the truth, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's Papa Duck, not Papa Doc. Okay. Either God. It's Papa Duck. Okay. I thought it was Papa Doc. I, I'm sorry. But I heard my brother, my brother listened to him. I think he's from Florida. And he was speaking about, I don't know if he was speaking about the Monsanto, how they are taking all the plants, all the seeds and shit like that. These most, y'all, my man, they trying to kill us. Somebody on the internet had to put me on in my own channel that I was going by shit and it said organic. He said they changed the name to the fucking, it's not organic. They just changed the name of the company to organic. So when you think you buying organic, you not buying organic. You buying genetically modified shit. Now, let's really talk about this and, and get away from this. And I know they might strike me or say something, but I know this to be true. Because somebody tried to get on me Oh, you support Putin? No, I support the fact that there's countries that won't won't let you won't let Fruit Loops and, and, and uh, 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 certain cereals be sold because they got chemicals in it that kill the people. There's certain countries that will now allow you to do genetically modified fruits and vegetables. But the United States does. When are we going to get these senators? When are we going to get these representatives to say, yo, listen to us. We want y'all to get, we used to have the best vegetables in the world when are we going to get back to that when are y'all going to talk about growing the food right here enriching the soil right here just a couple of months ago we had to fucking go to fucking australia to get breast milk I had some Asian neighbors. They used to grow. His father came from China and they were growing everything. They were growing everything. Motherfucker ran, possum ran back there. He caught a possum. Father ran outside, beat the shit out of him. And then later on that evening, rang the doorbell and asked me that I want some steak. <laughs> nah, I'll pass. <laughs> I don't eat meat. <laughs> Ooh. 
Who was that right there? Hey, Nika. Nastalaga. Hey, Nika, what's up with you, mama? Jose. You need a new Jose for Jose truck. You need a new promo. Yeah, okay. I got you, Jose. Or oh, for our end of show. <laughs> Danny, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody, uh, who's that say that? Uh, is that you, Renee? GMO new name is butter, Bargradable Ingredients. Bargradable Ingredients. And it's in everything we eat. Somebody else bought a book. Who's that? Gotta support these people. Dawn Wilson. Thank you, Dawn. Did you put your information there, Dawn? Dawn, I'm gonna fight you. Dawn, where's your information at, Dawn? Dawn, go to 201-969-6168 and leave your address so I can send your book. Please make my job much harder. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you, Don. Oh, so you changed this shit to Big Wavy? Okay. The Seer 360, I told you how to do it. I don't know if I want to give you the book, uh, The Seer. I told you. Text 201-969-6168. Leave your address. Put This is The Seer 360. You understand? Blase this. whoop de whoop That's it. I'll send it to you. Or you could email the Gene Deal Show. <laughs> oh, here we go right here. Drain Master on top of it. Speak, speak the truth, Drain Master. Hold on, hold on. I, I ain't lying. Look what Drain Master said. Damn, what did he say? What is that? Damn, I'm see it. Ezekiel, that's you? No, not you, Drain Master. Get out of here, no. <laughs> Thought you had a book. Now I'm trying to now I'm trying to see this the, the thing that you put up about uh that dude Papa Doc. Hold on. Here you go. It's my god daughter. So I'm doing the show right now. Can we speak later? I, I asked my goddaughter right there. I gotta, you know, we talk later.
Who is L.A.? He said, no, this is L.A. waiting on my book. I don't know who that is. Is that uh you gotta you got you gotta look? Do I owe you a book, LA or something? Get out of here. Let me know. How do I owe you a book? Because I'm on top of that, like white on rice. Oh, here we go. George Sims, he also brought up world supply of most seeds and has them stored. Plus, they are building bunkers and ish. They know something that a plant. Yeah. Yeah, Dream Master, this shit has been in the works. Why do you think they took those underground silos that they used to have and house nuclear weapons in and made apartments where people could live underground for over 50 years? They have underground cities. that people can live over 50 years of food supply and everything. There we go, so she was buying seeds. Yeah, Ed Miller, I ain't eating in that possum state. Okay, let me now the uh uh that Pennsylvania address. Now just put it in on don't put your address in here, bro. Just let me know that's you by putting um how you gonna do this? Let me know that's you. You just sent me the Pennsylvania address. If that's uh what's do sorry about this, y'all. I want to get this guy's book that he won. Let me know that's you. Just put the, uh, hold on. Okay. London. AJ, send me the post. Hey, yo, I know you're busy, but uh, oh boy, who won the, the the book? Can you just put the uh, those those the first three numbers you put up on your uh, in your address in in Philly or? Uh, the street. Put it in the post and I know that's you. These niggas be thinking they slick around here. All right, so now let's get back to this, man. It may not happen in our lifetime or in my lifetime, but America being the melting pot and all races and all forms of people over here, They are going to get, well, they already are setting it up to have America to be the wasteland. And if you don't believe that,
you lost. It is the only country that has a multitude of different people from all over the world. And I could see them destroying this place and starting all over. I could be wrong. But I hope it's not in my lifetime or none of my kids' lifetime that it happens. So when you see all this bullshit that's in your face, noise is distraction. What's really what's happening? They got plans that they're trying to orchestrate. That's why they put that shit in the Bible. The bear. The bear. The eagle. All the signs. The dragon serpents they write these stories to try to carry them out but it's going to take great people like you me other people to let people know we got to stop this craziness there's no reason why is no reason in this world why we all can't have a meal. We all can't have a home. There's enough land, there's enough water, there's enough of fruit, vegetable, and people who fish, eat fish, cows, whatever meal you want to, that everybody can have a meal. But it's the craziness of man and his own selfishness that has us in the position that we are in today. Some people tell me, oh, Gene, you're crazy. See, I think that all those planets you've seen that's blown up, I mean, all those planets that we go back to or we want to get to, there's planets that was already existed. We know they existed before. And I think that we've already probably lived on some of those and destroyed them shits. And then we go to the next planet and destroy that. And we at the plant and we at the time right now that they looking to be on another planet after they destroy this shit. Shit is crazy. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand it. But God gonna have to put his hand on it. Before I leave, if you got somewhere that you need to go, and you in a hurry, and you don't want them to move slow. Go Jose, trucking wavy. He's cheaper than, chicken and gravy. <laughs> Jose, there go your promo. <laughs> I'll see y'all later, man. Y'all be good. Peace.